Good morning, folks. The channel and the website changed today. Details are coming. Looking at the last day of our star reveals a surface movement on the northern hemisphere, where those solar tornadoes used to be a bit of plasma returned but did not last long. It snapped, and while it was too small to note any significant CME, the solar tsunami left in the wake is quite visible. There were no major flares in the last day, but the sunspot situation continues to improve. The eastern incoming group has grown tremendously over the last two days, overtaking a group out ahead of it as the primary sunspot focus. There are about two dozen umbral cores, and they are packed in tight. We begin to clearly see where positive and negative want to interact there. Three days of solar wind show calming speed, slightly variable density but within normal range, and dropping temperatures. Our shield is enjoying a little breather this New Year's holiday. The trans-equatorial negative coronal hole is too pinched for major visibility near the equator, but the dark top and bottom are strong. It's a quake factor along with the planetary geometry that has been building and will continue throughout early January. We've already seen some larger quakes, but yesterday we shifted to unusual location rumbling. Africa is not your usual 5 magnitude location. We also saw a buoy in event mode in the Bay of Bengal, but it could be any number of things given that the deviation is centimeters only. Top news, last year kicked off with a shocking story from NASA, Johns Hopkins, and the Hebrew University of Jerusalem saying Earth might be able to modulate anthropogenic emissions that she could clean herself. Nearly one year later, NASA has released a follow-up detailing how tropical forests are picking up the slack from boreal forests, clearing much more CO2 than we anticipated. In a somewhat related topic, let's run back the official 2014 temperature records. The last 365 days have seen just under 40,000 daily heat records broken in the U.S., nearly 49,000 daily cold records broken. We broke more than 1,200 monthly heat records and about 1,800 monthly cold records. The all-time record set favors the heat, but if you look to the right, you see precipitation and snow dominating the temperature records. Speaking of cold, usually it's the eastern states taking a pounding, but the vortex has the west in mind right now. Wyoming hit negative 48 with records broken there and in Colorado. Denver actually broke two different cold records in one day. Even California got into the chilly mix. And speaking of California, watch that low creep in, driving counterclockwise. The lows bring the worst weather and we saw dust devils, snow, high winds, and more. The wind map shows the Hudson low dominating the larger picture and keeping the west cold, but the top story is actually that same Cali low now settled in the desert. Expect serious winter conditions. Got two Mediterranean lows churning up the southeast while a major flow comes over the UK and Ireland and then shifts east and northeast thereafter. You won't find the clouds and weather warnings anywhere else. It's a very strong system at the north. Down under, the moisture shows the north still under the gun. Peripherally, we've just got some minor cloud lines and some wind warnings in the south. Don't forget, Mobile Observatory is in Albuquerque. Details on our January 3rd event are found at observatoryproject.com. Now, in a few hours, a second video will be released here detailing changes coming to the channel, the website, and give some general information about all the happenings, kind of a state of the observer's address, if you will. Until then, got your current conditions and some great shots of our star to close. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.20 a.m. Mountain. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.